So that is the live hearing going on as far as Article 370 is concerned. Uh, well, uh, on your screens now, Harish Salve, as you can see, uh, the Supreme Court is continuing to hear a batch of petitions challenging the abrogation of Article 370 of the Constitution uh, that had accorded a special status to the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir. And uh, the petitions challenge uh, presidential order revoking the special status. Uh, well, uh, we know the five-judge constitution bench uh, is, of course, hearing all uh, these uh, petitions. Now, senior advocate Harish Salve has, uh, has started to begin his submissions in the support for the abrogation. To give the historical reference, also what really happened on 26th of October when the Treaty of Accession was signed by Maharaja, uh, when uh, finally uh, Jammu and Kashmir became the part of India. And the second thing is that very important point he made. He said that how. Article 370 was preventing proper integration of Jammu and Kashmir with the rest of the India and how it had created the division within the constitution. That's what actually the government of India stand had been because they have already always maintained that Article 370 was like a stone wall that was preventing proper integration of Jammu and Kashmir with the rest of the India because it had created a state within the state. So it was very important to abrogate Article 370 so that the people on the ground get benefited. If you look at the Article 35, uh, 35A also, because 35A was considered to be very disappointing discriminatory in nature. Why it was discriminatory in nature? If you look at the women um, uh, the, who had filed a case in the court also because if a woman marries outside and uh, their kids will be losing rights over the property. In the same way there was a, a Valmiki Samaj community uh, Dalits, they were not getting their due rights. Then West Pakistan refugees, they were not able to participate in election despite coming over to this place for the last several decades. That's what actually Dari Salve was trying to mention. And he also made a very important point. He said that constitution, there is a uh, uh, one article that... Uh, Yes. In sub clause D of, of clause B, such of the other provisions of this constitution shall apply in relation to that state subject to such exceptions and modifications as the present with our So, power to the president to apply or disapply provisions of the constitution or apply them with modifications. And this does not require unlike B, one that is the spread in the list, the concurrence is not called for. Uh, let's look at it now, Mr. Sarve. Let's see that again. I don't... Yes. Uh, I... If your lordship sees 370.21b, one is the spread malad of the list, small subclauses one and two... Is corresponding to the IOA. Yes. That requires consultation. That requires concurrence. That is that comes in through the first proviso. B. Proviso, no such two order which relates to... requires uh, concurrence. Yes. B1 requires con uh, concurrence. Uh, consultation. No, consultation. Correct, Millard. And no such order which relates to matter other than those referred to this shall be in the concurrence of the time. So, this was built in. This dichotomy was built in there itself. Now, two things, my lord, your lordship will note. Applying or disapplying provisions of the Constitution. No, Mr. Sarve, I could not get this argument. Yeah, yes. I, I, may I just restate the point, Malad? Clause D relates to not 370, but other provisions of the Constitution. Absolutely. And they can be applied, disapplied, or with such modifications as the President considers appropriate. And that is with the concurrence of that government. Yes. Correct, Manu. And sub-article 2 says, is the concurrence referred to in 
paragraph 2 of B of clause 1, such other matters, or in the second proviso, that is, Manad would be D, be given before the Constituent Assembly for framing of the Constitution, it will be placed before the Assembly for such decision as it may take thereon. So, this was meant to operate much beyond the Constituent Assembly also. Because that concurrence would continue for all, forever. There would always be a state government. But state government, what that state government is another matter. There would, there would always be a state government. But disapplying 370 was carved out and put in three. Now, that can't be a provision limited in time to the existence of the constituent design. And that is what explains, perhaps, why the recommendation rather than concurrence. Mr. Sarve, your voice was cracking just a little bit, you know, when you were making this, the last part of your argument. Yes. Maybe, uh, I'll, I'll repeat it, Marat. Yeah, this yeah, applying yeah, 370 yeah. itself comes under sub article 3. Right. And that is why perhaps the framers of the constitution scaled it down to recommendation instead of concurrence. And that to put it in a proviso that when there is a constituent assembly, during the life of the constituent assembly, if you decide to modify 370 or disapply 370, because the whole purpose of the Constituent Assembly was to work, to try and find this area of accommodating both. That's so, if I know, Mr. Salve, we got your point. Yeah, that that's all. The... This is a proviso. Yes. To, it uses the word recommendation and it does yes. say if there is a recommendation we got that yes. point we got that line of argument i was just closing it by saying you are making just a little while ago yes was that you, you you began by saying that b1 yes requires consultation matters in the list other than those covered by the ioa requires concurrence that is b2 then we went to d Yes. He says, subject to such exceptions and modifications as the president may order by order specify. Yes. There also there is a bifurcation. Yes. Those matters which refer to the instrument of accession require consultation. Other matters other than those governed by the instrument of accession require concurrence. Correct. Now, the point which I was making, ah, perhaps that, that, that got lost. We wanted you to just say, uh, come back yes. again. Yes. So, again, Malad, why this subtlety of instrument of accession being consultation and other than instrument of accession <clears throat> being concurrence, the significance should not be missed. Where it comes to instruments of accession and terms of accession, the last word is with the union. No, where do you say that? How do you say that? Because, my lord, instrument of accession requires consultation, not concurrence. The first proviso. Why this dichotomy in the first and second proviso, my lord? The lordship would have to reflect over. And that also, Malat, feeds into my point, therefore, that where it comes to disapplying the 370 completely, because the whole idea of 370 was accommodating. All right, we were listening to the live hearing of the Supreme Court. As far as the Article 370 petitions are concerned, we were listening to ex-Solicitor General uh, making uh, his uh, statements and submissions there.